Hey guys, I'm Cash. If this is your first time to my channel, I make videos about design for Shopify templates as well as Canva templates and social media templates. Today's video is going to talk about if you have a small catalog and filling out your homepage and making it the best use of your homepage to demonstrate your products and not look so bare and empty. So that's what we're gonna get into. Check out the video and I hope you learn a lot. Okay, yeah, I'm back. I don't want to give y'all a tutorial on every feature in Shopify. I just want to focus on the design aspects, why you need them, and how they help your site. So your homepage should be a landing page, like a sales page. So like if somebody comes into your store, they need to see on display what you offer, right? So this is what we're going to talk about. So first off, this is a demo store. So don't mind the name that you're going to see, clothing demo. Forget that. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm making the hero image and I'm giving a call to action. Oftentimes, I see people have a big photo and it's nothing, no call to action. You're not selling selling the product at all. So good photos with call to actions are super important when people first yeah, I hop in the camera to source up these product images because you know how we do. But I went there to pick up the color scheme of what I already did so that I could add it into my theme. So this is what you see me doing here, trying to find the right colors and make sure that, you know, you can read everything and that it's a, you know, a blended, like the colors go together and they kind of match without it being too busy. Two to three colors are ideal for your brand colors. Um, but yeah, this is in theme settings also if you need to find it. Again, I'm not doing a tutorial, y'all, on where to find stuff. We're just talking about design. Remember, this is a sales page, y'all, so you have to make sure you have your products on the page so people can see what you have and purchase what you have. This is the collection section so people can see what's in this collection, eyelashes, and we're going to make this page do what it's supposed to do, get you some sales. When you have a small catalog, it's super important to have your products on the page. I just wanted to remind y'all to turn the draft to active in the top right and make sure you turn off track quantity. Now that we have our collection section, I'm just going to change the name and give it, you know, what the category actually is, which is eyelashes. And I'm going to adjust it for some aesthetics, make them bigger, smaller, etc. Now I'm adding another section. If you have a service that you want to offer, you can make a section for that on your homepage as well and give people the opportunity to know about the service as well as book the service right from this page. So again, because you have limited products, you don't have to have a bunch of things spread out because it looks very bare. You can condense everything on a homepage and then send them where they need to go when you need them to go there. I made an overlay for the photo so that you can see the text on top. I positioned the text to the left of the image so it's not covering it. Now I'm making a buy now, a book now button and I'm removing the other button. You can talk about your brand below, sell yourself and sell your brand so that people want to buy your products. I was just adding some more products y'all. I cut that part out because y'all know how to do that. So this is another layout for you to show all the products that you have. So if you sell three things, then you have three collection products that you want to display. So if you sell lipsticks or lip glosses, you will put that here. You could put a product there or it could be the actual category. You could adjust this in the Shopify settings on what you want to be displayed. So you could have all collections or products or however you want to do it. But this is a good place to demonstrate all of the products that you have in one place on your homepage. And it looks very magazine like and very stylish so i like that look and that aesthetic remember this is for a small catalog so it's a one page for a small list of products so you're not making a bunch of pages and spreading out your product with one product on each page all you have to do is put them on your home page and have a button for them to purchase the product so it keeps everything very concise Okay, uh, the next section will give you an opportunity to talk about the ingredients or the what your products are made of or any other kind of bullet point information with icons. Now, a note about icons 
They should be 500 by 500 pixels. You can find some cool ones in Canva. I don't know if they're all free or if you have to be on the pro account. If you want, you can also look for some in freepick.com. That's F-R-E-E-P-I-K.com for extra icons or Google free icons online, y'all. But make sure the size is 500 by 500 pixels so that they're very crisp and not pixelated and they look good on your site. I'm checking to make sure that the website looks good on mobile, y'all. That's super important because most people use their phones to purchase your products and browse your websites. So you just want to make sure that everything is sized properly, that you can read everything because that's a major flaw. I know personally I will leave a website if it does not look good on my iPad or my phone. Okay, so just double check that everything is suitable for your mobile. This section is optional, y'all, because this particular store only has about three categories and a few products in each category. But if you have six categories and you didn't display them all above, then you can add another collection section and put them here and display it the way you want. And it'll be scrollable on a mobile device. But again, this is for small catalogs or again, maybe it could be for a bigger catalog. It's up to you. Okay, so you see I have mixed images here. So the first image with the eyelashes is on a decorated product background. That's cool, but if you want that, make sure that each image looks the same. But the other two are cool also. It gives you a very lifestyle magazine feel and looks very crisp and very professional. But whatever you do, do not mix the two. All right, y'all. So I had to jump back in Canva to make another product image because I don't know if you remember, but there were only three eyelashes that I had on the page originally. And it was an empty space on the end and it was just throwing me for a whole loop. So I had to make another product image. But while I'm in Canva, let me just tell y'all something. I added a drop shadow to this um, photo of eyelashes because it gives it a more realistic look and it makes it seem like maybe, possibly, the, you took the picture for real in real life. But if y'all want to find drop shadows, go to your Canva element section, type in drop shadow, and you'll find a bunch of different drop shadows that you can use behind shapes and behind other images. And it's such a cool feature that I didn't know existed. Now I'm back on the page. I'm adding the product image that I just made so that I can have four going across. I'm pretty sure you know how to do this. I'm just adding it into my product list and um, adding the image here. Upload and I'm going to make a title. And like I said before, you see where it says product status. It says draft. Make sure you change that draft to um, active. Make sure online store is checked. We're going to make sure you have a price in here. And then below that, turn off track inventory. Because if you leave it on, it's going to say you have zero products in inventory. I'm not sure exactly how you use that feature. But turn it off in your case. And then we're going to hit save. Oh, and I forgot to mention to click on collections. And pick the collection that you already previously made. And add this product to it. So that it's there. As you can see, it's not showing up yet. But what I realized was I had to go into the feature collection section and switch it from three to show four products so that all four items would show. So that was a little my bad there. Let's talk about why these changes work. So we're going to scroll back up to the top. Now you start off telling the audience what you're selling, your mink lashes, and you offer them the option to buy now. Then the next section gives an example of your categories and what you're selling and they could buy now and that instant. If you offer services, this is your opportunity to show that you offer that and give your customers a chance to book you for that service. Then you want to talk about the three things that you sell. You only have a small catalog, therefore you're going to show what you have. You can use this section to talk about the benefits of your products, the ingredients of the products, or whatever you like, but it gives more details about the product. If you want people to join your mailing list, this is an opportunity to get them to do that. Alright y'all, so I'm comparing a before and after. I blurred out the company name because I didn't want to put them on blast. But as you can see, their hero image doesn't give you a call to action or a description of what the product is. And below the product selection it just has featured products but you don't really know what these products are if you don't look at the images so I think from what I did it gives you a one category to focus on 
all of the products within that category and then further down you get to see all three categories with a few products in each category with a call to actions on each item thank you all for watching this concludes the video if you enjoyed please subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one